Hey guys, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I've got a cool trick for you on how to get super fat, deep, full, rich sounding bass sounds. Um, <clears throat> and this technique is going to work best when you've got the sort of um, bass that doesn't have a lot of low end frequency, like something in the mid-range that you really want to fill out. If you've got something that's too bassy, this is not going to enhance it, but what I want to do is play you uh, the bass line without any processing, and then we'll play it with processing. So here's the bass as it is right now. Sorry, this is the bass without the effects. Now let's turn the effects on. So, that's a huge difference. Um, way fuller, richer. That's not going to work on every song, uh, this sound, but let's, uh, I'll play the song in context and I'll turn the effects on and off so you can just hear. And now I'm going to turn off the feed process. So basically what it does is it takes a pretty dull uh, sine wave type sound and really just fattens it up and filters it and distorts it in all sorts of cool ways. So we're going to dig into how to do this in a sec, but I'd like to take you, ask you to take a second to like and subscribe to the video. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below, or if you've done some other really cool processing to expand the sound of your low end, I'd love to know. Um, this is something I sort of just... Put together the other day and was really happy with. Um, so we're starting out with uh, Native Instruments Retro Machines, which is part of Contact and Complete. And honestly, it's like one of my favorite synths out there. I use it on almost everything, and it does. It basically models a bunch of different famous um, old school synths, uh, analog synths, and it does it really well. And it's super tweakable, but not too complicated to get into. Um, so that was the starting point, and um, there's a link down below if you want to pick up Retro Machines. It's part of Contact. Uh, it's an affiliate link. If you want it, do it. If not, no skin off my nose or wherever you take the skin off back. Um, and then from there, I ran it through a few different plugins by Sound Toys. Um, and Sound Toys just makes all these really fun, fun plugins. Um, these are some review copies here. And so we'll turn them on one at a time and I'll explain what they're doing. So the first one that's giving a lot of the difference is Little Alter Boy, which is basically like a harmonizer plugin. And right now it's set to basically like just shift everything down an octave. So you've got the pitch and the formant here and then a few different modes and just it's got this great distortion on it and then the dry wet. So we'll start dry and dial it in. And we'll just solo the bass out here. Ah, uh, yes, gotta love that. Okay. So we'll, we'll start doing, we'll go all the way wet and then dial it back. So you hear, I mean, that's just such a rich sounding, like, octave pedal that it just fills everything up. Some octave pedals are just gonna sound, or octave effects sound weak and tinny but this is just super powerful and it fills out the low end but also the drive is adding a lot of character to it so i'll turn dial the drive back like it's pretty basic without the drive but it just adds the right amount of woof and then the formant Um, sounds best down here, but like you could also, something that I could and should do uh, on this is probably automate it. So I'll click automate format, formant, and now we'll go to the formant section right here. And 
will actually, over the course of the track, what we'll do is we'll bring that up so the bass gets, like, evolves a bit over time. So now let's listen to that. And there's different modes too, but... So you can get all sorts of cool sounds out of Little Alter Boy. I, d I think I've done another video where I used it on guitar and just was getting these huge, like, white stripe style, like, just really thick, low-end, punchy sounds. So big fan of that. Then I put Little Radiator on, which is basically like a simulator of, I believe, the console desk at the studios where Motown recorded. Um, or at least one of the preamps they typically use there are direct boxes. And this thing is just great for bass, um, for a lot of things, but it, it basically just adds some nice distortion and a little bit of EQ. So let's try it on and off. Off again. And it's adding some volume, so that's not totally fair, but it's adding it in a like saturated way. And then on top of that, last but not least, we added Filter Freak 2 by Sound Toys. And this is just a fun, 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 fun filter. Um, so this is just one of the presets called Better Bass. And ironically, it makes the bass sound better. Um, and basically what it's doing is it's a um, double peak filter, I believe. Uh, or I guess it's a low pass and a high pass filter, which is kind of creating a band pass filter in between it. But the way they move, you'll be able to see on this graph um, here. And so let's listen to that. And it's being triggered basically uh, like by a gate, by the, uh, it's, uh, you know, so once the sound goes over a threshold, it moves the filter, which just fills up the low end and gives it this really cool full sound. Uh, so that's it. These are three steps. You stack them on top of each other and you get just a much fatter, richer, lower bass sound, especially from simple synth sounding basses originally that you can take them and just really distort them and add a lot more color and texture to it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please take uh, some time to like and subscribe. I'll leave any questions. And like I said, if you're interested in contact or in some of these sound toys plugins, there's links down below. And I hope you have a great one. Thanks.